Hey fellow designers, it's Karen of Karen Glenn Customs and I just wanted to check in with you guys today about a few different things. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of this new camera that I bought for my YouTube videos and I also wanted to talk about self-care and life in general during this pandemic and how it's affecting myself and my business so on and so forth. So stay tuned. So since this whole pandemic situation has started and my kids have been out of school, my business model has kind of been disrupted, I've fallen into kind of a slump. Um, and I know I'm not the only one that's been doing this, so please leave in the comments below if this is affecting you too. But I've been in this slump where I like get up in the morning and I like don't, you know, put on outside clothes. I stay in my pajamas. I don't comb my hair, I don't eat breakfast, and I go straight to work because in my head I'm thinking everything I planned for my business was revolving around prom season, you know, especially for this first few months of me um, starting my full-time entrepreneur entrepreneurial journey, is that now prom season has been disrupted. So... Most of my girls, they still want their dress. We don't know what's going to happen with the end of the school year. Like, proms are being canceled, postponed. We don't even know if school is going to open back up. So, most people still want their dress. Some people don't want their dress anymore. And I had reached my half point, halfway point of the amount of dresses that I wanted to book. And then this whole pandemic situation happened. And all of a sudden, nobody else is ordering prom dresses, which was to be expected. Like probably about a week or two before things got really, really serious, the gears started turning in my head like, okay, this is not gonna go how I planned. But anyways, with all of that happening, every day I just wake up and I go straight to work like, okay, I have to make money. Let me finish the dresses I have. I have to do new patterns. I have to do this, I have to do that. Just trying to figure out how to keep things going because I don't want to, I don't want to just let, you know, a failed prom season be the reason that my business doesn't continue to flourish. You know, I also have other custom items I offer. I'm also doing wedding dresses. I'm also doing um, patterns. So, and then now I've started to do masks as well. So just trying to figure out how to keep my business going. And I know a lot of us entrepreneurs are feeling the same way. So you get up in the morning, you just go straight to work. You don't think about anything else. You go straight to work, looking crazy by the head. You didn't comb your hair. You didn't eat breakfast. You're hungry. You're tired. And you're just get going to work and trying to like aimlessly figure out how to keep your business going. And... um yeah, I just realized that I was not taking care of myself. So I started this routine and I, I'm kind of starting a campaign for myself of self-care because you can't be 100% focused on your business or whatever else is going on around you and not be taking care of yourself because not taking care of yourself is not conducive to success. You have to take care of yourself first or nothing else is going to fall in line. So um, what I've started to do and what I wanna challenge all of you designers to do as well and all of you entrepreneurs to do as well is waking up, starting your day with a shower. If you like to shower at night, that's you, but for me, showering in the morning wakes me up and gives me so much energy. And then after my shower, I comb my hair. This sounds like it sounds like something people just do every day but when you start to feel um discouraged about your journey sometimes you get up and you don't do it so get up take a shower or if you're not showering you know wash your face splash it with some cold water whatever's gonna really wake you up um and make you feel excited about your day do that put on outside clothes even if you're not going outside do not keep your pajamas on all day long like why um and eat breakfast whether you're gonna cook like you know a full course breakfast or omelet potatoes you know bacon or if you're just gonna have a bowl of cereal just do it just do something that you get to look forward every day when you wake up in the morning because for me it turned into waking up and like immediately when i would open my eyes the first things i would think would be like oh my god what am i gonna do today um, I have so much to do. I don't know where to start. How am I going to make money? Blah, blah, blah. Just, just 
before you think about anything, just wake up and do your routine and it will make you feel so much better about your day. So I've been doing that for the past week and it's like really made an impact on how I feel about myself, my business, the future of my business, what I'm doing around my house as a wife and a mother. Like it's just made such an impact. So that is my challenge for y'all is to start a journey of self-care. Even if you feel like you don't know what you're looking forward to because we don't even know when outside is going to open back up. Give yourself something to look forward to every morning and start off by taking care of yourself. I want everybody that's watching this to follow along in this journey with me because I promise you it will make you feel so much better about this crazy life that we have going on right now. So at the beginning of the year, I did set myself a goal that I was going to grow my YouTube and um, I set myself a goal that I was going to upload a YouTube video two times a week and if you've been following my channel then you know that i've been uploading maybe like once or twice every two weeks so i really haven't been sticking to my plan so um i decided to purchase this camera it is a canon power shot sx740 and i just basically had went on best buy and was like looking for um looking for digital cameras that also have video capability. And then I like researched like a few um, YouTubers who had done like an unboxing or like a review saying that they used it in their videos when they're vlogging and stuff like that. So um, this one was fairly affordable compared to like some of my favorite YouTubers, their cameras cost a thousand dollars and I'm just not in a space to be able to spend that kind of money on one thing right now. Um, but this camera um, was on Best Buy listed for $3.99. Um, and then I also bought this uh, 128 gig memory card to go with it because um, I don't have time to be worried about storage. But anyways, my logic behind purchasing this was I really, really need to start putting in the effort of... Um, getting my videos out more often and more consistent so that i can keep growing my subscribers i am almost at a thousand subscribers so if you are one of my subscribers thank you so much for your support and if you're not subscribed please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time i upload um but yeah so the logic behind this was that i need to do more videos and i need to not keep making excuses about my iphone doesn't have storage my daughter's using my ipad so i can't use iMovie so on and so forth so now i have a dedicated tool to do my youtube videos and i'm going to be editing on my microsoft surface pro 7 and then um i also bought this this was about 85 dollars um it's adobe photoshop uh not photoshop well it's adobe photoshop elements and premiere elements 2020 um it came at a discount because i bought the camera yeah so this is it so i'm about to open my camera okay so This is the battery, I guess. Okay, so here is the camera. It's beautiful. It's like really beautiful. I have not owned a digital camera in like a long time and never really consistently used one. So um, this is what it looks like. And I guess the screen like flips up so that when you are recording yourself, you can see yourself um doing whatever it is that you're doing on camera and oh, okay this is the battery then what is this oh this is the thing you put the battery in to charge it got it let's see what this says getting started attaching the strap where's the strap oh that's this thing i'm gonna have to get a cute little bag or something now
Okay, so you slide the strap through there. This is like complicated. Okay, I finally got it kind of in there. Does anybody else get intimidated when you record yourself doing something complicated? That like doesn't even go along with my brand of being a teacher, but it's in there. Now I got to pu push it out. Maybe I can get it with a sewing pin. There we go. Okay, and that goes through there. Boom, okay. So I got that done. And then, do I have to charge the battery first? I guess the battery's not charged, let's see. Insert the battery pack in the charger. <clears throat> charge the battery pack oh okay so that's what the charger looks like you just put the battery in there and then plug it straight into the wall or wherever plug in lines into an extension cord okay so that's what it looks like when it's charging it says charge and i guess when it's done charging it'll say full so i'm gonna just let that chill for a little while Okay, so yeah, I'll be back whenever my battery gets charged up and then I'll turn it on and show you guys like how it works. But yeah, we'll see you guys in a few. Okay, so according to the instructions, the next thing to do is to insert the battery pack. Okay, then you put the memory card in. Like this. Okay, so I put the memory card in and then you lock it back. Okay, so that's in and then you turn the camera on. Where's the power button? Okay. Here is the power button. It says on off. So I'm just gonna press that. Ooh. Okay. You set the time zone. Okay, today is April. How do I do this? Recording movies. Oh, okay, there's a special button for recording movies. It's right here, the little record button. Press that. Press again to stop recording. Okay. So now I'm recording myself. Oh, 
Oh, you can zoom while you're recording. I'm gonna have to see. I guess I'm gonna have to like connect this to my computer and see what? how it actually looks. And then you press again to start recording. Stop. Oh, the button is tiny. Okay, and then to view, you hit the playback button again. Oh, you can hear it too. That's dope. Okay, anyways, I'm really excited about this. Okay, so that's the camera and I'm going to put in a little clip at the end of this video of me recording myself with this camera. Um, so y'all can see what the video quality looks like. But so far, it's been recorded with my iPhone. Um, but there is a little screw thing down here for you to screw it onto the top of your tripod. So this video is being recorded with my new camera. It is the next day because I took some time to play around with the settings and um, get the uh, film quality to be how I wanted it to be. But um, so far, I'm very pleased with the results and I'm looking forward to using it. Um, I have the camera sitting on top of the tripod. It's screwed on top of the tripod. And then I have my ring light off over here to the side. Um, so um, that's pretty much my camera unboxing. But I really wanted to do this video to check in with you guys because I know that I'm not the only one going through this like insanity of the pandemic so make sure that you are developing your own morning self-care routine to give yourself some pep for the rest of your day and um, remember to take care of yourself first if you had things planned in which the success of your business depended on things that have been disrupted by the coronavirus pandemic, that does not have to be the end of your business. Like, use this time to think and develop a plan forward. It does not have to mean that your business fails just because, you know, your life has been shaken up a little bit. Everyone's life has been shaken up a little bit and um, things will go back to normal eventually. Figure out what need your customers have now that the previous need has been dissolved by the pandemic there's going to be a different need and for a lot of people that need is mask for myself i'm splitting my time between mask finishing my prom dresses and releasing some new patterns so that's what i'll be doing i will be coming out very soon with some new patterns and then of course i'm going to be doing a lot more youtube videos and i have my wonderful camera so that's it thanks for watching my video do me a favor and leave a comment below and tell me how your life has changed since the pandemic happened how your business has been affected and what you plan to do moving forward again thank you guys for watching and i'll see you soon in the next video bye